And we are back here in Singapore at the Singapore Open. And as you can see, the first two matches concluded in two straight games. And coming up, women's doubles, Thailand Kitty Harakul and Prajong Dai against Tang and Yu of China. And here we got the draw from the uh, women's doubles. And you can see is the top seeds from Thailand against the number six seeds from China. And here we got the players from uh, Thailand. And here we have, have the players to court and uh, here is Kitty Harakul here from Thailand leading the four players with her partner Prajong Dai and uh, just after her followed by Yu Xiao Han and then uh, lastly was Tang Jin Hua and the head-to-head -head between these uh, two pairs is 1-0 uh, for the uh, Thailand pair and that happened at the Thailand Open just last week where they played the first round and it ended 21-13, 21-16 for the Thai pair who had a very John good Compton, you call Thailand black or red? Just last oh, week. Red. Red. You receive? Thank you. So interesting here. Thailand uh, did not choose ends, but they chose to serve as far as I understood it, which means that China chose ends, and that's why they uh, they want to start at the the uh, the difficult end here, where they're playing with the drift. But let's see. There might be some good tactical reasons for that. And in the meantime, I can say I'm delighted that I. Again, joined by my Canadian colleague, Charmaine Reed, who represented her country in the women's singles and women's doubles in the Olympics in Athens 2004. So, a warm welcome to you as well. Oh, it's great to be beside you again, uh, Morton Frost. Uh, it's a pleasure. This women's doubles is going to be exciting. I know it was a little different last week, but uh, it could be a good one today. It could be. And here we have the profile of Kitty Harako, 25 years of age, 170, and their ranking at the moment is 8. The highest they have been on the ranking is 6. And the partner here, Ravinda Prajongjai, they, she's also 25 years of age, height at 164. The same ranking applies, number 8 at the moment, and the highest they have been is number 6. That actually happened in June 2008. 18 and the way to the final here has been fairly comfortable despite the fact that the English pair in the second round got very close in that first game 22 20 but then 21 16 in 44 minutes and won both matches in two games and their opponents from China in the picture here Tang Jinhua 26 years of age, 170, and at the moment ranked 39 in the world. But as I say, don't be deceived. As you can see, the highest rank she has been is actually world number one with Bao Yixin. And uh, that was back in 2014. Her partner here, Yu Xiaohan, 23 years of age, 175, ranking 39. And she has been number nine on the world ranking with Huang Yachong. And that was actually this year, 2018. The way to the quarterfinal here, been absolutely no trouble for these two Chinese players. One in 16 and 24 minutes in the first two matches. And the umpire for this match is Cynthia Tam of Australia. And the service judge is Chapini of Italy. Nine, 
So Shemaine, as you rightly said just before, I think we're in for a treat here. I think this is a very good match and uh, I know it ended quite comfortable um, win for Thailand last week, uh, but this is a different day, different venue, different tournament, different everything. So uh, I also think that this could be a good match to watch. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Yu Xiaohan and Tang Jinhua, China. And on my left, John Konpan Kititarakun and Rwinda Padongjai, Thailand. Yu Xiaohan to serve to John Konpan Kititarakun, love all. Play. Thailand's been playing so well at the Yugo Cup, and they're playing really well as a team. They're the best right now on their game, number six, and now they're number nine, in, or number eight in the world. But they play really well. This one, Prajong Jai, she likes the net. She likes to control the net. She's the one that's steady out there, and her partner is nice, tall, great smashes, so that's when they're strong. But as you mentioned, China on the other side, they're, they're solid and, and they're very powerful. They're not bad, are they? <laughs> no. <laughs> It's funny, they're, they're so good on paper, so but they really haven't off. had the results uh, at all as a team oh. together. No, not yet. Um, I suspect that it, it might come up. As, you, as we said earlier, uh, Tang Jinhua has been number one in the world with uh, her former partner. And, uh, and so Yu Chao Han Two, has been one. number nine. So somehow th I think there is a chance for this combination to, to work really well. And. Um, they started the partnership only here in 2018, so let's give them a little bit of time and then see uh, see what they can come up with. But of course, the expectations coming from China in the women's doubles is absolutely huge. You? Three, one. that too much and into the net. Four, one. Yeah, they have to be very patient, uh, the two Chinese players here. The, um, the Thailand pair is definitely uh, a good defensive combination and you have to work very hard to win your points. And uh, especially in these conditions here where it's a big stadium, it's quite difficult to kill it. It is, it, it, uh, I was talking to the coaches earlier, and it's, it's a, although there's one faster side, the shuttles are Five, still slow, yeah. so that's when you have the longer Train. rallies and you really have to be patient. Yes. Every venue is different and, and you always have to adjust and, and for the players, um, so there is a, a drift in most of the stadiums. Sometimes it's lights and uh, you just, uh, the more experience usually can adapt quicker. Absolutely, but you have to, you know, keep in mind that the shuttle is actually only five grams, and uh, that is played with a, an immense speed. So these five grams can be really influenced by the drift in the hall. Even though you don't feel it, the shuttle still feels yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what a good start here for Thailand. Kijihara call and Prajongdiai, six one up. Service over. Two. And now two six. pressure on Tang. That's what you want to do in the women's doubles. You want to keep that pressure on, keep forcing it, and Three, finally with the put away at the net. Six. Oh, that was 
was a crazy uh, smash on that one. If you're going to go cross court, it has to be a good one, or it opens up the whole court just like that happened. See. Kitatara, watch this. She tries to go cross court wide open. That's a dangerous one. Yeah, very, very dangerous. I couldn't say better than that. <laughs> she got punished straight away. There you have it again, Tang, really looking out for the net, looking forward and, and trying to put it away. She almost knows where the shot's going to come right, right beforehand. Just watch her come in, set it up, puts it away. I mean, women's doubles, you have to be so patient. Long rallies, the clears have to be right at the back line. Um, a lot goes down the middle. You try to open up the court, and uh, you have to mix up the shots so well. It's called out. So all back to six all. Six all. Nothing between these two pairs now, after a very good start by Thailand. Interesting that uh, Yu Xiaohan is actually uh, a former winner of this tournament. She won it with her partner Dong Yi back in 2015. Eight, six. And in 2017, she also won the Korean Open, and that was with Huang Ya Chong. Seven, eight. Yeah, good save there, my friend. Ah! Really good save there. She was in serious trouble here. Service over. Save that first one well and then play the winner Nine, afterwards. This seven. one here. That is well saved. Good smash down the line. Nice placement. And Yu Xiaohan can't really do much about it. Not happy with her return, but uh, it was good pressure, good placement. Ah! Well, Tang there for the cutoff, but Ten, just missed it and put it into the seven. net. But she's the real, the one that's taking chances at the net now, and, and that's what her job will be, trying to dictate there. Yeah, but still cut down on the mistakes as Oh, well. yes, exactly, yeah. Got to be solid. But in the women's doubles, China has dominated this event in Singapore. 17 times they've won the women's doubles. That's impressive. <laughs> First time this tournament was played was in 1987, so that's about yeah, 30 years ago. More than half. Yeah. Service over. Eight, ten. Spot for the smash goes straight so on that one to take over. the point. 11 8 interval. Yeah, I, I think it was really very interesting because uh, I felt personally that the partnership between uh, Tang Chenhua and her former partner Bao Yixin was really a good partnership. And when they came onto the circuit, here we have the confirmation 11 8 in 8 minutes. But when they went onto the circuit, they won everything. They won the first eight, nine tournaments, and suddenly out of the blue, they split them up. I don't know whether China was a bit too comfortable when it came to women's doubles prior to the Olympics in 2016, because they split up a really, really good young pair. And as far as I remember, China didn't win a medal. 
at the Olympics. Coaches, the return to your Which chair. has never happened in the past, yes. No. So, it, yeah. so it's, it, it was a really, really strange decision. And I don't know why it happened and so on. I probably never will know, but I, I'm still wondering. So here we are ready after the interval. Put your guys to surf. 11, 8 up. Play. I think there were some disagreements with other women's doubles uh, teams in China, possibly at that time. So maybe the split up was that, or yes, because they were a solid team and, and they would have had a chance to win a medal. They would have had a very, very good chance. Service over. And then they opted to use Bao Yixing in their in Nine, the mixed doubles. 11. Yes. And a, another mistake, yes, the, the Chinese duo, they're making all these Service unforced over. errors that are easy mistakes. And they were in 12, a very commanding 10. situation there, and they should not make a mistake like that. Wasn't it a fantastic win by uh, Kitty Haruko and Prajong Jai last week when they beat the uh, number two in the world from Japan, Fukushima and Hirota? Yeah, that, huge uh, win, yes, Yeah, that exactly. was a good win in, yeah. in that quarterfinal. And that's the thing, you, you see them playing really well as a team at the moment, and uh, I think they, there's another uh, level too, so they might be able to get in the top four by the end of the year. You never know, you never know. They're really working hard. And of course, this pair was also part of the uh, surprise 13, silver medalist at the 10. Yuba Cup just six, seven weeks ago in, in Bangkok, where Thailand beat China in that semi final. And of course, these two girls, they played a, a massive role in that win against China. Oh, absolutely. Um, never before was China not in the finals uh, there. So it was a. They were always the favorites to win, of, of course, but uh, for Thailand to, yeah, to win that silver, so the, the depth that they have right now, it, it's pretty impressive. 11, 13. Women singles, Rajanak and Tanan, former number one. And now we just saw Jindapan win the singles oh. as well, so. Yeah, she's the second Thailand player, number 11 on the world ranking at the moment. There's that nice smash too. It wasn't straight. It comes across the body, so, so it makes it more over. difficult to, uh, to return 14, the shot. 11. Gets her racket up, not straight. Comes right across. A hard one to get back. too much and pulled it out the side. Service over. 12-14. Smash down the middle. Taking at the net, but got away with that 13. one. A little loose. 14. <laughs> you know what? Lewinda so really over. mixes up the, her shot so well. That was her backhand. She goes cross on that 13. one. She's the one that really makes it a difference on that side as well. Look at that beautiful shot. It's not an easy one to do. No, she's the more creative oh. of the two, aren't she? And then uh, it's more raw power when it comes to Kitty Haruko. Yes, yeah. When they fight, they never give up. So always, always a lot of good gets to into rallies, get going. Yu Xiaohan. Yu Xiaohan. Pass the shuttle. 16. 13. Yeah, that's 
well left. Just that is well left. You shall hunt challenges. Called. So we out. have a challenge here. It's called out. China is uh, making a challenge on it. I suspect they might they might lose it. Even from up here, where we're sitting, I think that one looked out. But let's see what Hawkeye has got to say. Challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. 17, 13, play. Ah, oh, that's really well played there. Excellent shot. Service over. And the Chinese team here still have to play catch up. 17. That one there, really well played. Saw the gap, cross court, flat drive, but still 14 17 down. They still have to catch up here. And somehow they must start trying to cut down on these kind of unfortunate. the net yeah that's well covered isn't it it's, this is what you like to see when these 16, block shots are coming 17. that someone is up there and really making it very difficult to play yeah keeping that pressure on it yes it's all about initiative and of course initiative for the net as well that was really well played by Michelle. And then all of a sudden, the, there goes that two-point lead. 17 oh, two. all. Goes four points <laughs> lead. So, uh, 17 all. I just said before that uh, it's all about catch-up and uh, four points in a row here. Let's see if uh, Chinese team can uh, put it off. Been trailing most of this first game. so easy for us to say here Service but over. that drift Pain. nine out of ten times we keep it in yes exactly especially on that side watch us just hoping yeah nice fast clear and that's the way you, on, the, on that side especially 17. you can have the faster sharper clears of course it was well played just on the line but still you have to make sure it's out if you want to leave it on that side that time so okay. again over. it's tang she always misses uh, mixes it up coming in 18. nice and powerful oh. a lot of that power is in her hands just watch how she snaps it at the last right there yeah no mistake there to the back end on that one too. It was a shot before that she was kind of caught Service forehand back end and then places it right back to the back end. So 19, very smart. 18.
There's that pressure again, you, you yeah, see. She's following up, yeah. isn't she? Yeah. Follow in. Service over. Even if you're not going to hit it, you just have feel that pressure on the other side. You've got to play tight. Oh. If not tight, I'm going to kill it. <laughs> Watch out. Yep. Already now much, much better than last week. Where the scores were 21-13, 21-16 in the Thailand Open in that first round. Now it's 19 all in this first game. Straight down the middle. Such a terror call. Service over. Good time with the big net kill. 20. Game point. 19. She was a little bit careless on it. We won't see it again. But the way she was actually looking away at the same time as she was playing the shot. It was a little bit careless. You can miss that kind yes, of shot. Yeah, those are the ones you really have to focus on. And, and you don't want to miss it, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Pulls off the first game. Yeah, 21 19 after 19 all. First game won by John Kompang, Kitisha Rakun, and Rurinda Pajongjai, 21 19. The two Chinese were always playing catch up in this first game. They got their 19 all, they had their opportunities, but somehow they did not manage it. And this pair, Kitty Haraku and Pajongjai, got away, won the first game, 21 19. And here is a big chance. And you see some of the mistakes from Tang, and that's uh, very unusual of, of her, but uh, Thailand played solid right to the end. And here we've got the confirmation, 21 minutes, 21, 19 in that first game for Thailand. That was a treat for you out there who can uh, speak and understand Thai here in the commentator's box. We cannot, so uh, we will leave it at that. But we are, we are very shortly ready to begin the second game. Just 20 seconds away. Which means that the coaches have to leave the court. Jinmin. Love all. Play. And Prajong Jai starting to surf. Love all play. Service over. Well, definitely China made Love those mistakes Love. in the first game, especially. Tang coming to the net, trying to put that pressure on, but just miss hitting. They just really, like, as you mentioned, Morton, catch up, catch up, but never really dictated the game at all. That's so true. But um, it will be very interesting to see here how they so adapt to the new circumstances One, as they've changed four. ends, and then see how these, um, especially, of course, how, how Thailand will adapt to, to the circumstances here. that drift out the back. It's faster going in that direction, so you do have Service to adapt. Over. If you're going to lift, needs a little more height, but Two, ideally you want to be attacking more. You'll have more of the power on this side. Ah. Ah. That's 
really well played by Yu Xiaohan here. The way she played across court Three, and then followed up at the one. net. This one here is neatly played, but the next follow-up is even better. Oh, good cutoff. Just barely got a racket on that one for Jung Jai. So really fun over. to watch her. If, she's, if you're watching her hold on court, she's really Two, very clever, very looking for the spots. Pulls back on that one. Nine. Yeah, she's just gone up to it there. Oh. That one just bounces off the tape. You can't do much with that. Service over. No, but this is this is where I get this a little bit uneasy feeling, you know, if you look at it from a Chinese perspective. Because Four, honestly, two. it was a fairly simple coup. And she was lucky that it got the tape and got over. But that should have been a sure winner. And you cannot afford to miss this, and even though it was so close. Yes, exactly. Why risk it that much? And, and that's what they seem to be doing, those mistakes that are... There it is, right there, as you mentioned, Morton. Yeah, get it over. over. So yeah. over. Especially in doubles, it, uh, it doesn't have to be a winner. You want to set each other up, wait for that opportunity. Just keep the pressure on. Three, four. Yeah, I can uh, understand the smiles all over there. <laughs> I would have been happy too. A little present. Yep. Oh. Christmas still far away. <laughs> Smash by Kit Tarako. Yeah. Nice challenge uh, down the middle, down the center of the court. Five, four. It's, it's always very safe, but it's also causing confusion. Oh! And that stays in. Service over. That's what I say, you've got to be Bye. absolutely sure oh. if you're going to leave <laughs> yes. someone there. Oh. And the game lately has gone a little bit erratic Five. here. Mistakes from both sides. Just a little bit of an angle. You don't want to get it straight on. Just change Seven, it up a wee bit. Six. It's hard to return. Oh. It's across the body. on that one, but watch how she really takes that side. Here it is. Moves over, steps into it, and puts it Seven. away. Oh. But that's where the agreement between the two players have to be really good, isn't it? Because you can see partners moving out to the side. So if you start going center on that one, you have a complete 
feet up and cut cross court. So, you know, that's where you really need to move your partner up. Yes, and, and where they're hitting as well. Yeah. Just what along, but very smart by uh, for Jung Jai again. And watch her so backhand, she's over. going cross a lot, even off the return of Nine, serve or the second, third eight. shot. She's really trying to find the cross. from the mid-game interval here. 10-8 up. Good serve. Oh! And then once again going cross court as you mentioned. 11, 8 interval. And here we have the confirmation, 11-8 in 10 minutes. So on the side, on the uh, Chinese side, I can also mention that uh, the pair here in the picture, they won the uh, US Open in, uh, in June. And then, uh, if we go all the way back in uh, 2009 at the World Junior Championship, uh, Tang Xinhua, she uh, won the gold in doubles. โอเคมั้ยเวลาแทงไปแทงมาคิดกันสี่เดียวคิดก่อนตั้งก่อนอีเลฟเว่นเอ็ดเพลย์ทีมนี้ Too much and out the back. Yes, the Chinese team, 12, they won eight. the US Open, oh. but really they, they don't have any other great eight. results. Semi finals at the China Masters, but they either were first or second round, and, and that's all they uh, got to. Yeah, oh. as earlier mentioned, haven't been that impressive yet, but uh, maybe Service in a year's over. time when they settle into the, uh, into Nine, the 12. circuit here. Oh. And then get more tournaments uh, maybe they can you know pick up where they used to be because uh, as earlier mentioned Chinhua has been all the way up as number one in the world and that's too much and into the net those are the easy mistakes you don't want it was a short lift and <laughs> Peng smiling, smiling on that one yeah. does smile Nine. Almost as much as Gao Ling. Gao Ling was uh, famous for her <laughs> huge smile. Olympic champion. Oh. 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 Oh, there it is. It's, it's these mistakes that uh, Thailand can't afford. Yeah, that's smashing mistake 14, here by Prajong Jai. Nine. Shouldn't happen. But sometimes it does. So it's a healthy lead here for China. Tang and Yu 14 9 up in the second game, having lost the first. 
21-19. Going along on that back line. 15. You know what, even with those smashes, yes, you do have a little bit of a drift. Therefore, you have to go up to it a little quicker on the side because it's slowing down. It's a little bit more in front of you. So maybe they're just off uh, a little with that uh, the smash. Yeah, the timing is slightly off. Just slightly. Yeah. So in the women's singles, there was a few times where they completely mistimed it. And that's when you're focused, you have to really focus until you hit that shot. You really have to watch it. Other times you might look away or you, you know where it is, but in this hall, you really have to keep so looking until you hit that ball. shot. Absolutely. But this was a magnificent shot Fine. here. <laughs> this one here from Kitty Haruko. The way that she controlled that one is not easy. 15. Really well played. I was watching them warm up before the matches. They have the balls and, and the different hands and, and just different warm-up exercises that uh, really gets your body going and, and focused. Mm. That smash was great, how it came across the body to the hip. Trying really have to work, be steady, and, and try to find those spots. Change. Eleven, fifteen. Titan on her back so and she goes cross, but just to watch how she reaches on that one. It's all in the fingers. Last 16, second, watch that. Just 11. goes cross. Beautiful shot. Oh! Service over. 12, 16. into the net. Again, so let's go over. towards the shuttle. And just set it up so beautifully. Right there. Good attack. Too much and into the net. Yeah, she should have gone a lot more for placement in my book. Go for placement uh, down the line rather than trying to go for, for power. Right. time they put it away. It was Kitatera curl with the good smashes from so the back. Over. Mixing it up so well. 14, Watch us nice and high. 17. And then for Jung Jai to put it away. Oh. It's a key, Morton, especially in women's doubles. You're not going to win it from the back of the court. You have to set your partner up at the front. I totally agree. And that's why you have to go for placement more than power, because power is not really making the biggest difference when it comes to women's doubles, because they do not hit hard enough. They're so used to play against the boys, and the boys, they hit much, much harder. Right, yes, yeah. Which means defensive-wise, they're lots stronger. Yeah, or oh, so solid on defense, so they, they can do it all day, but then they, yeah, you have to set each other up. Nice, beautiful. 
beautiful shot on that one. Yeah. A lot of deception, places it beautifully to the net. A lot of hard smashes in that one, and then she just takes a pace off and places it. Yes. Wait. Change. And interesting to yeah. see that it's uh, Tang Jinghua who is asking for a break. Because I think, who, who do you think it's in favor of when you have these long rallies? I think it's definitely in favor of uh, this combination here, the Thailand players. The longer the rallies are, the harder it is, the more it is in favor players of those two. Of Thailand, yes, yeah. they, they like to dig, they like the long rallies, and we've seen in the past how well they do with the fighting spirit, but de definitely physically in great shape. 15, 17. But that's the experience of Tang, too, trying to slow it down. Mm. Oh. And there she kept, keeps the pressure on, so. Service over. That's what 18, she does so well. She comes 15. forward, looks in. Perfect spot. Not only that, that's kind of that short, small reverse shot on it, and that's really neat as well. Oh! It's an up going cross that time. Service over. Nicole. 16, 18. So on defense, you can open up the court by going cross court. It yeah. can be dangerous, but uh, it was good enough to, to win the point. This time it's good because the uh, partner is moving towards the center of the court rather than it's opening up on the cross. So just po one 17, point in it between these two pairs 18. now. 17 18. And Prajong Jai is serving. So, Yu Xiao Han. 17, 18. And that's strong, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> exactly. No so problem. That is really, really well played by Chung Hua here. The 17. way that she is moving forward so positively into that gap and really closing it down. And when it comes, she just hammers it. One point, 19, 17, just two points away before we maybe go into this third game. It's caught right deep in the back end. And that's what you saw Tang do. She was there in the first game, but she was making the mistakes. So now she's actually cutting down on the, those mis mistakes and it, it makes a huge difference. Three game points. Yu Xiaohan to surf. First game point. That's awesome play, as you say, once again, that uh, cross Service smash across the body up. there proves to be very, very efficient. It wasn't a hard smash, but it was placed so 18. well. Watch this. She gets 20. up on it. Beautifully placed. The defense was really quite deep in the court as well. She didn't recover from the clear and, and uh, got caught. Oh. A block shot could have done it as well, perhaps. racket on that one. Just watch a face of a racket. She goes straight instead of cross. It's a hard shot to do. A little trick one at the end. Watch. Yeah, have a good look here. 20. Right there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, good shot. Changes her grip on that one to, to be able to play it. She does. 
Can they save another match? Oh, sorry, game point here. Ah! Oh, they can. 20 all it is. Nice and solid on that. Started off with a great serve. Gets up. Oh, nice smash. Again, the defense really deep on uh, the China side. Encouragement here from Kitty Hara called to her partner Prajumja. Come on, hit it harder. You could just hear it. That's really well. Good play here. Gets up, nice smash. Change. It is, wasn't hard, but good spot. Yeah, it was very steep. So match point for Thailand, Kitty Hara called Prajumja. Do Warning with the squeeze of the shuttle, she wanted to change it so she kind of. Squeezed it 21. to get rid of it quicker. 20. Yeah, that was oh. well spotted by the umpire. <laughs> Go! Save game point, match point. Service over. 21 all. Ping Jinwa to serve. to be impressed by the uh, the energy from these Service two over. girls from Thailand. They are 22, really, really giving 21. their very best. And they play, again, playing well, setting each other up. It, it, it's great to see. Oh. Yeah, good return of serve there. Very nice, Find, finding that mid-game mid into bit came into that mid court 22 in between there that oh. is so well placed really well placed oh, you shall hand here that mid court is crucial in doubles yes it's a first first two three shots it's so important oh. and game point number four has arrived for China 23 22 But we have a challenge on it. Hold in. Well, it was a cross court. Kitty Terrako went cross court on her defense to set that one up. Beautiful shot. Is it in? Is it out? We will find out in less than a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but it's close. It's really close. Let's see what Hawkeye has got to say. It's in. The game. One challenge remaining. They saved the game, yes. Service over. 23 all. Play. Both players. 
Thailand to come out on top. 24. Yeah, that was a very, very positive drive, that one there from Yu Xiaohan. That was really positive. Yes, it was, yeah. That was good play. Match point. Oh. Watch out, hold, yes, it was the finger. She goes up nice and quickly, just holds it that last one, puts it right into the corner. Watch your racket right there, turns it. Excellent shot. And of course, you're looking for that mid-court shot, like you said earlier, Morton. They're, they're so good at that mid-court one, and then you put the pressure on, so you're always lot, guessing. a lot of court to cover. Yes. 24. Again, when she comes in. Yeah, that's good placement. That is really, really good placement. Sitting up here, I was thinking, next time go on the forehand so side, and she over. did because it was she was standing. Uh, Yu Xiaohan, she was really waiting on that yeah. backhand. Look at that, and then played to the forehand. 24. Really neat. Nicely played. That's what Pro Jung Jai, if you watch where she's placing the shot, she really can see the whole court. So four game points for China and now four match points for Thailand. It's getting very close here, 25-24. Can they convert? Good defense. Oh, and they did it. Thailand with the wind. What a match at the end. Thank you. <laughs> Big smiles. Yes, they did it again two times in a row against this Chinese duo. Customs saying thank you to everyone in, in the stadium. Match one by Jump On Tan Kitty Tarakun and Rowinda Padongai. Well, solid all the way. Great defense by the Thai team, but when they got on attack, nice and patient, doing their job, putting it away, and just kept the pressure on the whole match. As the uh, players are leaving the court here, we will have the uh, confirmation that Kitty Harakul and Prajung Jai from Thailand are winning 21-19, 26-24 against Tang and Yu of China.